All right, guys, throughout my travels here, I'm on the way home. And I believe I seen somebody I recognized sitting on the side of the road here holding a sign. I'm gonna double check and uh, offer this young man a lunch. If he's still here. By the time sometimes they turn around and get back to that spot, they're just gone. Happens over and over. It's magical. All right, should be coming up on it here in a second. Yeah, okay, he's still sitting there. I think it looks like a guy named Lamar, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure. Positive thoughts. All right, let's roll. Got things to do. Oh, I'm going to see if he needs a pair of glasses for the eclipse. All right, let's see what happens here. Is that Lamar? How you doing, buddy? How you been, man? Really? Sunday they had to airlift him to Erdlanger. He's on life support. You see your cousin? No, it's my nephew. Your nephew's on life support at Erlanger. Yeah, he's 20 years old. What happened? He, he went running when the law got behind him and he took off and the laws got to chasing him. He got in a high speed chase? Yeah. And so they pit maneuvered him. Oh. Spun him out? Yeah. So when they did, he sunk him through the windshield. The front windshield, he took the whole left side of his face completely off. Okay. Uh, it's just all kinds of stuff going on. So, are, are you in contact with the family then? Like the. Well, yeah, because they'll come down to Walmart or somebody that works at Walmart knows my family. Oh, really? If something goes wrong, they'll call Walmart and the person that works there will come out and tell me. Okay. But you're nowhere near Walmart. <laughs> no. Hey, I'm fixing head back that way. All right. Hey, I got a lunch for you. you. Hungry? Yes. Check this out. There's a chili macaroni or a potato salad, macaroni salad. There's a pop tart right here on the side. Right. Some big chips, apple cinnamon sauce, uh, apple sauce, a pudding. There's some peaches in there. Uh, some uh, uh, Cheez Its, okay. uh, granola bar, a bunch of stuff. I got a Dr. Pepper for you. Oh, really? I'm fresh out of waters. Are you going to check out the eclipse here pretty yeah. soon? Yeah. You got the glasses? No. Here, I'll give you a pair. I ordered a bunch specifically for this reason. Here you are, young man. All right, thank you. Yeah, it starts at 1.45. Okay. You got a, you got a phone? Uh, no, I don't. No? Okay. I guess when it starts getting dark, we'll know. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Well, it's pretty cloudy. Yeah. But, you know, who knows where the sun's going to be in two hours, you know. Right. So, but, uh, yeah, you'll definitely want to check that out. Okay. It's supposed to have 80% coverage at 3 4 p.m. But you probably won't be able to tell what time it is because, I mean, you don't have a phone. Right. <laughs> so, all right. How are things been going, man? You been all right? Yeah. You staying out of trouble? I'm trying to. Yeah? But my tent got stolen, so. Your tent got stolen? Yeah. Well, I had it at, like, you know, right there where Walmart set? Yeah. Straight behind the store. There was a bunch of us back there. And You're talking about behind GameStop? Uh, Up in the woods? No, no. Like, Across the street, the gas station. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I headed up right there and I left and came back. And uh, when I came back, my camp was gone and everything. Really? Yeah, so just a friend of mine let me share a camp with him right now. Okay. At least you got something. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, there's a spoon in there, by the way. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, you might want to heat the chili up. It's at room temperature now, yeah. obviously. But, you know, one of these gas stations probably let you. You know, they got the microwave. But, uh, all right, man. Uh, boy, yeah, I was just driving by and I thought I spotted you. And I was like, I better turn around. <laughs> so, all right, I'm just glad you're doing all right, man. All right, if I see you again, is it all right if I stop and say hi? Yeah. All right, fantastic. Good to see you again, brother. You too. All right. You be careful, man. Oh, I will. Um, boy, oh, boy. I know you don't like socks. No, I can always stand socks. <laughs> so I'm not even going to ask this time. But um, you need any hygiene items? Yeah, I need some, like, deodorant. Okay. And stuff. Well, and, and the stuff? Like, you, uh, you want some hand soap. sanitizer? Yes. A bar of soap? Yes. All right, I'll be right back. Right. You got a bad carry all that? No, you don't. Right no. Nope. We're going to fix that. My man's carrying around all his belongings in a garbage bag. We're going to have to make some reparations here. Let's see what we got figured out. 
All right, Big Daddy to the rescue. These bags are awesome. They're huge. All right. Bar of soap, not a problem. Hand sanitizer. A pack of wipes. Some shampoo. And some deodorant. And a little Milky Way. All right. And a couple Swiss, or a couple uh, oatmeal cookies. All right. Let's make it happen. Okay, Lamar. We've got the the Great Gatsby. I got you a couple oatmeal cookies. Right. Here's a shampoo. Oops. Shampoo, a little Milky Way, some body wipes. Right. All right, bar of soap, hand sanitizer. Except for, I don't know what that's all about. All right. Oh, deodorant. Check out this bad boy. Yeah. Alright, set your lunch down and grab your big ass white bag and throw it in here. And believe me, it'll fit twice. That's just gonna fall apart soon. Alright, now, pretty heavy duty. So, when you eat your stuff out of your bag, you can put that stuff in that bag. Yeah. Or just throw it in there. But now you got handles at least. Thank you. You can probably get it over your shoulder. <laughs> but you been alright though? Yeah. Alright, good. That's the main thing. Be careful, there's some ants. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, bust into them oatmeal. <laughs> there's another candy bar in that uh, lunch bag. Okay. So, all right, well, hope you have a good day, brother. You too. Looks like you're equipped for the long haul now. Yeah. A little bit for the day. Oh yeah. Yeah, but uh, go and check out that eclipse. It looks like, a, hopefully it'll clear up, man. You know, this doesn't happen very often, so. Yeah, that's what uh, my mom would say, it happens every so often. I don't know the number of years, but I think the next one's in 20 years. Oh, really? Yeah, I probably won't even be around. <laughs> so I better take full advantage while I can. Oh, yeah. All right, I got to go. I got a date with my mother. We're going out to eat, and then we're going to go find a place to look at the eclipse. Oh, okay. I got my tripod and everything. I'm going to set it up, see if I can film it. But if it's overcast, probably won't be much to see. Right. All right, man. But once again, I'll see you later, brother. All right, thank you. All right, take it easy. Good seeing you. You too. All right, be careful, please. All right. All right, Mr. Lamar, soft-spoken, kind man. Doesn't look like he'd bother nobody, which is cool. But apparently somebody stole his tent. I wonder if that's the one I gave him. I'm quite sure I gave him a tent. This was months ago. Who knows? All right, guys, gonna sign out. Gotta pick up mom, it's date night. And uh, she's been harping on it. I think we're gonna go to Applebee's for lunch. And being that I'm the chauffeur, she's gonna be driving. So, no, <laughs> she's she's paying, but I'm driving. But uh, I eat light when I go out. I don't get, well, even if you order, like sometimes even appetizers are quite filling. But uh, all right. All right, so we'll be back, guys. We're uh, trying to make some changes around here. All right, sounds good. Talk to you soon.